Hello and welcome to all you Taurus people. This is the monthly horoscope for October of 2021. And for some people, it is a, a month full of events and full of life-changing events. But for you Taurus people, it's your cup of tea, I think. Because it's a month that is way more gentle, that is not that much happening actually, and that can be a good thing. And I know for Taurus people who are ruled by the planet Venus, they uh, kind of like those periods of time. So October, of course, these are general horoscopes. I mean, uh, it's not for all of you, but in general, this is definitely a month where you can focus on uh, some things without that there is a huge thing that you need to kind of turn around. And uh, it's mostly happening in the work area, basically, because there's a lot of energy in your sixth house and in your tenth house. And the, these are the houses of uh, manifestation. These are the houses of work. And if you're not, if you say, yeah, but I'm a, a 17 year old, uh, um, you know, I'm not working anymore. It's, it's your day to day life. It's your day to day routines. There is where you're going to focus the most on during the month of October. I know a lot of you Taurians out there will probably say, hey, because you are ruled by Venus, what about love? I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute, but it's not really emphasized here. So that means it's, it's a bit the same. Um, there's no big changes there. But let's talk about this. It's the Mercury retrograde that we're having. And Mercury is going direct again around the 19th of October. So that means a bit of a shift there. And for you, it's in your day-to-day -day work house, uh, your day-to-day -day house, your, your health as well. So if you want to work um, on, uh, on your health and improve it, after the 19th is actually a very, very good time to implement something new uh, that can add to a better health, for instance. Whatever it is, you know, whether it is your... Um, change of diet or doing some exercises or what what not but the emphasis is on your day-to-day -day routines and to do it in a different way to do something that is more expansive and that is more uplifting and joyful because mercury is going to is, is trining jupiter the planet of expansion and possibilities three times but it's also squaring up to pluto so that means that First, something need, needs to destroy before it can be rebuilt again. I'll give you an example because it, 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 sounds, it sounds heavy, right? Destroy before you can. But what I mean is that the sixth house is, logic, is the house of logic and it's the house of your administration as well. So you could be, for instance, you work in the uh, administration or you're having your own business and um, with the Pluto squaring up to that, it could mean that you need to destroy a certain, which means ending, a certain way of how you work. That could be like um, you're doing a mailing list, for instance, and you're having a hundred of clients and you do that in, in a way that you're doing every single client uh, and it takes you hours and hours. It's maybe a stupid example, but that bear with me. And that is your old way of doing your business. That is your old way of doing things, which is, it has always worked for you. But now, because maybe you have that expansion and it's going to be way more busy for you. When you stop, um, you know, Taurians, they can be very stubborn. But when you kind of are open for not being stubborn and stopping with the old way of doing, you can implement like maybe a technique, maybe an IT person is uh, helping you out and uh, or maybe you are helping yourself out and you say, hey, there's something like mail merch. I can do it now. What I did in three hours, I can do now in 15 minutes. You know, it's that kind of thing that is happening for the Taurus people. So it, when it comes to your work, whether you have your own business or whether you uh, work in a, in a certain company or whatnot, there are opportunities for you that are life-changing and that can make your life so much easier and so much. It's not about working harder. It's about working cle more clever. 
in a way. So that is coming up for you. I know it's, it may not sound very, it may sound a bit dull, but that's what I see here that where you have your expansion, especially when it comes to work, Jupiter um, is still, is uh, still in your, in your 10th house. So between now and the end of the year, dear Taurians, do everything that you can to expand your work because this is the time next year, Jupiter is not going to be in your 10th house anymore. So if there is expansion in your mind, do it, do it. But first you need to break down things. The, the old way that you're doing things needs to break down and then you can, you know, develop new things that, um, have opportunity to be uh, very transformative anyway very interesting energy for you mars is also in your 10th house of work um sorry in your sixth house of work but related as well to your 10th house of work so you can do a lot you can do a lot it's very exciting for the taurians um to work on their male energy, you know, the go-getter man. I, I, and that is not really specific for you, but you're um, the ruler of, uh, so Mars, which is the other planet, you could say, uh, that kind of gets the equilibrium of the Taurians, which is Venus, you know, Mars. You're, that, that planet Mars is in a Venusian sign of Libra. So that's why you can do a lot. Uh, during the month of October. So success is guaranteed for you and you will see wh when you do it in that way of breaking down before you can uh, build up again. Uh, it's like with a house, right? If you want to, you, you, you're, you're going to do renovations uh, and you're not going to get rid of the old stuff in the house. You're going to, you're going to build foundations on something that is not solid and you as a Taurian you don't want that you want to do the things right with the quality and that is actually what I see here and you will see the improvement of the things that your day-to-day -day routines your work your health as after the 19th of the month of October so you have time for this and Pluto and Jupiter is about transformation growth and so on and the peaks are going to be the end of September, the beginning of October, and then the end of October and the beginning of November. So it, at the first week of November, you will really see the changes that you uh, have made. So very interesting indeed. And then a minor thing that is a bit less important for you, but more important for other people. At the end of the month, there's a Venus square Neptune happening. And that is in, in um, Venus, is, is, it's your ruler. And that is at the end of the month, around the, 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 the when is it, Viola? When is it? Oh, I'm not. Yes, it's around the 27th of the month. So the last, you could say the last week of October. Venus square Neptune is, is you um, watching your boundaries. Um, I'm not saying this to be afraid, but um, I'm saying this, and especially when it comes to your worth, when it comes to your assets, which is uh, you, Venus, and it squares up to Neptune in the 11th house, like for friends, for instance, if you have, this is a typical thing, um, if a friend asks you for money, money, for instance, it, it can be, I'm not saying that you can't help out a friend, um, you can do that, but make sure that you make clear boundaries. So if you're lending some money to a friend, for instance, Write it on a paper or something like that. You know, you can't go any, any wrong, but you have to protect yourself a little bit, you know, with your assets and uh, maybe knowledge. A friend asks you some knowledge because that's an assets uh, uh, as well. Be careful that you have good boundaries there. Um, they won't do it always in a conscious way, maybe unconsciously. They, they could take this and then follow through. You see, you know what I mean. And so be a bit, be, be aware of your boundaries and uh, you will get the respect even more. And, um, but all in all, an interesting month for you. Thank you so much for listening and um, see you next month. Bye-bye.